CPC exam clinical questions. Loreen, I forgot to mention that I read online that there is a new component to the CPC exam starting June 2012. Is it so, is it so new that a competitor of yours did not know, did not have this new clinical part on our CPC exam prep guide I was going to order? Can you tell me more about this and will you have this included on your most recent prep guide for the CPC? I will be finishing schooling this December 2012 too. Um, actually, what's interesting about that, this was just a proposal that was out there to um, as, a, as an alternative way to not have to use the CPCA, that apprentice um, aspect. And they opened it up for public comment, which I really, really respect the AAPC for doing. And they got a bunch of feedback and the end result was they decided to keep things the way they were. Um, the thought was that they um, would give a 20 question or, you know, clinical additional exam to those who did not meet the experience requirement so that they, they could um, get rid of the A quicker. OK, um, but that never came to pass. So it isn't that, um, you know, my competition, whoever they are, <laughs> um, doesn't have it. it. It just doesn't exist. It's not necessary. Um, and again, I want to bring you back to the the blog because there's articles on that. And I'm trying to remember the search term. I think we ended up putting apprentice in there. Um, so, you know, type that in and you'll find um, articles about that. I, I copied and pasted the uh, email from Reed Pugh. Uh, the CEO of the AAPC and basically talked about how um, it was something that was, you know, here we go, elim eliminate the scarlet A. Some people refer to it as that. So use the site. There's lots of good information there. Um, but that is uh, definitely not going to be a reality. Get more CPC exam tips, coding certification training, and CEU credits go to www.codingcertification.org.